Edgar Cayce famously said that nothing of importance happens in our lives that isn't first foreshadowed by a dream. This doesn't mean that all of our dreams predict the future, nor do they necessarily tell us what to do, but they do provide insight from our subconscious, our soul minds, to assist us with whatever is going on in our lives. The subconscious mind is like a bird high above the road we are traveling. It can see more than our conscious mind, and we have access to it through our dreams. The more we learn to recall and understand dreams, the better we understand our deeper fears, our desires, and our unconscious knowing, as the purpose of our dreams is to make us more consciously aware of these underlying motivations and how they apply to our waking lives. Dreams also tell us how our thoughts, actions, and intentions fit in with our spiritual goals and life purpose. They can show us the desires that are motivating us and even help us sense the need of our bodies. How to work with your dreams. The following tips will help both those who are already remembering their dreams and those who are currently having trouble with dream recall. Number one, ask for a dream. Before going to bed at night, ask for a dream. It helps if you have a specific reason for the dream. For example, you might say to yourself, I'm considering a job offer. Please give me the insight through my dreams. Or, Please help me understand how I can heal my relationship with my partner. It all starts with asking and having an intention. 2. Keep a journal by your bed. Your journal is an important tool for getting your dream written down before it is forgotten. Whether it's a morning or middle of the night, if you wake up remembering a dream, write it down. We know that it comes in flashes and as soon as we remember it, it goes and disappears just as fast. Number three, look for symbols. If there are key players in your dream, such as a car, a dog, food, water, your mother, make note of it. You'll find you can track what these symbols mean to you over time. Four, record how you feel. Generally, the feeling that accompanies the dream reveals how your soul feels about events, decisions, or conditions. And upon waking, it's important to capture that initial feeling we have from our dream. 5. Be consistent. If you'd like to keep receiving insight from your dreams, the key is to keep asking and keep journaling. How to interpret your dream symbols. The best interpreter of any dream is the dreamer. Dreams are very personal messages that require intimate knowledge of the dreamer. Professionals may offer clues, but they cannot authoritatively analyze another person's dream. Our subconscious minds communicate through the use of universal symbols, images that seem to have a common meaning among people all over the world. For example, a symbol such as a lion has a universal or archetypal meaning of power and vitality. Birds frequently symbolize various kinds of love or spirituality. Water is often suggestive of emotions or the unconscious mind. A grandmother or grandfather can symbolize our higher self or our own internal wisdom. Myths or fairy tales often have similarities among cultures, and these similarities are shown through the universal symbols and themes. Often our own dreams contain these same kinds of symbols. And over time, you will come to learn what water, fire, and other common symbols mean to you. In the beginning, you might find it helpful to start with the archetypal meanings of these symbols. Those meanings and the interpretations given, it may be beneficial to use a dream dictionary. But if you receive symbols within your dreams and you're unsure of what it means, when in meditation, ask for clarity. What does this symbol mean to you? In exploring our dreams and listening to messages from our subconscious, we can begin to find the answers within our own self. The answers have been there all the time. We just never knew how to look for them. 
happy dreaming. Until my next video.